Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Zensi consultant. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. It's What I've Been Warming Wednesday, and I am going to bring to you today just kind of what I've been warming in my house for the last week, where I warmed it, how it did, and the idea is that you might get a sense of what you want to try in your home and where you might want to warm it, where it might do best in your house. So it's actually kind of an exciting week in Scentsy land. So this week is the Scentsy family reunion. Um, consultants gather in Salt Lake City, Utah for this week to find out about what's new and do all kinds of networking. I am not in Salt Lake City this week. I did not go to SFR. However, I have gotten the sneak peeks of the fall and winter items and oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm sure there's more sneak peeks to come later this week. Um, but what I've seen so far, I'm impressed and I'm very excited. So if you follow me at northern underscore lights underscore glow on Instagram, um, if you want spoilers, DM me there. I don't mind sending you those. Um, some people don't want to see them, so I'm not going to share them on my channel right now. Some consultants don't like to share them this early. It is public knowledge at this point, so there's nothing wrong with sharing them. Um, but some consultants don't like to. Some people don't want to know because it's June and they don't want to think about fall yet. So I understand all that, but if you want spoilers, DM me at my Instagram and I will let you know what those are. Um, so we'll just kind of jump into what I've been warming. So again, my melting basket for this month, if you watched my June melting basket, was very much like florals, very light fruity green floral scents. Um, the weather hasn't really cooperated with that plan. Um, it hasn't been terrible, but there's been like a lot of rain and it's been pretty cool. Like not really any higher than like 20 degrees, which I think is like maybe 68-ish Fahrenheit maybe. Um, it's been, it's been nice, but not warm. So I've kind of done, done just kind of like a lot of mood melting this week and a couple days of like fall melting. So I'll show you what I've warmed. The one thing I did was aloe vera and ivy. I did the whole bar in my living room area here, or my open area. And one thing that's changed out here is I do have a fourth warmer now. I got the classic curve warmer um, in gray, and it is over on my little side table beside the couch and chair where we sit and like watch TV in the evenings. Um, so I got that on the bundle plan with the um, buy the warmer, get the five bars free bundle. So I picked that up. That bundle deal is still on, so there's four warmers to choose from. There's the watering can, the two succulent garden warmers, and the gray classic curve. Each one of those, if you buy the warmer, you get five bars free out of a list of like specific bars. Great deal. So if you're on the market for a warmer, check that out. That is good till the end of June while supplies last. So the first thing I did was a bar of aloe vera and ivy. And I think this was a scent of the month, like late last spring, like it's about a year old. Um, this was really nice. So on cold, this one was just very sweet and kind of like watermelony to my nose. And on warm, it did change a bit. It got a little bit greener, which I expected because it is supposed to be a very much a green, fresh scent. Um, it got a bit greener, but it did maintain some of that melon note to it. And it was very nice. And it was actually surprisingly strong. I thought because it was so melony, it might not be very strong, but it did really nicely in my open layout. Really enjoyed it. Um, would definitely repurchase this if I could, but I can't, it's not available. But if you ever see aloe vera and ivy in flash sales or clearance or in bring back my bar voting, it's a good one. I recommend if you like green fresh scents. And even if you're someone like me who doesn't typically like green fresh scents, this was a nice one because it's got enough of that sweet watermelon note to really kind of round it out for me. So really liked that one. And that was about a 24 hour type scent. Um, by the 24 hour mark, it did need to be switched out but about an average performer in the open area. Next, because I know that my club order has shipped and will be arriving soon, and it contains another one of these, this bar, I used up a bar of my wish in the open area here. And this is sugared violet, fig, and marshmallow. And this one is so pretty and so cozy. If, like a, if a floral can be cozy and gourmand, this is a cozy gourmand floral. It has got a lot of that marshmallow note. It's like a sugared violet with like a deep gooey marshmallow. It's really pretty. It's just beautiful. Like it's just so pretty. And that fig I think does kind of ground it just a little bit without being overly like a, it's not a super musky or dirty smelling fig. It's just so pretty. So love that. Did that in my living room or my open area here. And when I, I usually do this in the bedroom, it's very much a bedroom scent for me. 
um, and I usually do two cubes there and it lasts like 48 hours. I did it out here and it lasted 24. I probably could have let it go a little bit longer, but it was very, very light, so I did switch it out. But 24 hours in the open area, not bad. Pretty good performer, nice and strong while it lasted. Highly recommend my wish if you ever see it around in your travels. Next up, I did a mix. I did, what did I do here? I did five cubes of almond croissant. And almond croissant is one that used to be a like all year round bakery catalog scent. And they took it out for spring, summer. We don't know if we're gonna see it back for fall and winter. I kind of don't think we will. I hope we do. It's like a cinnamon sugared croissant with just like toasted almond. It's not almond extract, it's like toasted almond. And it's such a nice like buttery rich bakery scent and it's quite unique. I've never smelled a bakery scent quite like this. So I really love this one and it is very nice mixed with blueberry cheesecake. And so I only had five cubes of this. I like to do six cubes for an open area warm. So I added one cube of blueberry cheesecake to one of the warmers. I didn't really smell the blueberry cheesecake because there was so much more almond croissant. But if you mix these one to one, it's beautiful as well. And blueberry cheesecake is just our like blueberry compote and New York cheesecake smell. And it's like a, it is blueberry cheesecake. There's definitely like a tart tangy cheesecake note there. Um, I prefer it mixed myself. So I like to mix it with bakery scents like almond croissant, um, but that was very nice. And it's a, it, this is a nice all year round bakery scent, almond croissant. So this is in my club. I really hope we see it back in the fall, but if we don't, it's in the club. Next up, I did two cubes out of this brick in the open area. And this is vanilla cinnamon maple from the holiday bricks last season. This one is really nice and it's actually working even this time of year. Like it's a nice all year round bakery scent as well. It does lean a bit fall because of that maple, but it works for all year round. It is like, the cinnamon's not overly present here. I would say it's mostly like a caramel type scent, like a salted caramel, a little bit, like definitely a salted caramel. And you do get some like, a little bit of cinnamon in the background. I would say it's like whipped cream, caramel, and like a dash of cinnamon on top. It's not like an intense cinnamon. It's really good. Lovely bakery scent. Really nice and like housewarming. It's a very nice housewarming scent. It just kind of warms your home, makes it smell nice. I really like this one. And I look forward to using the rest of the brick off. Would I buy another brick? I don't know, maybe or maybe not. Um, would I get more of the scent if I could? Once I use this up, I probably would get more um, if I could. It's very nice, but it's not like a must have for me, but it is very enjoyable. So would not be sad to see that come back one day. I don't know that we will see it back though, um, because I don't know, they don't often repeat brick scents and I don't think this one's gonna be back in the fall catalog. So either way, very nice kind of all purpose bakery scent though. Next up in my daughter's room, I did half a cube of uh, Pink Point Setta from the Holiday Bricks. And this is your, I guess, reminder. If you have bricks stashed away somewhere in your house that are not getting attention, dig them out and use them. I am guilty of that. I always forget my bricks because I store them in a separate area from my other bars. So they get kind of forgotten. So I dug those out this week to give them some attention. And this is such a pretty scent. This is like... It reminds me of like a lighter pomegranate prosecco. Pomegranate prosecco was a like champagne pomegranate berry scent from last winter. This is similar in that it's got that like pomegranate berry type note. I think there's plum in here as well. But it almost does have like a bit of an effervescence to it, just a little bit. It's like a light fruity scent. Very nice for all year round. Like this is fine for this time of year. It's not at all holiday specific or winter specific. Um, perfect for all year round. So I'm gonna try to use more of this this summer. It's very nice. It's very, it's on the light side. It's like, it's a medium at peak, but it doesn't last all that long. So in my daughter's room, this is like a 12 hour type scent in her bedroom and about a medium strength at peak, but not long lasting at all. Really pretty. I wouldn't repurchase more, but I do quite like it for what it is. And I have it, so. Then on to our bedroom. We did vitamin R relax and I did four cubes to use up the bar. And this one is one that I also have in my club. And so I have again a club shipment coming soon. So I will be getting another bar of this. 
And so this one was from the vitamin or from the um All is Well collection. So region three actually will be getting this one very soon. So if you're in New Zealand, Australia, this one should be headed your way soon, and we'll be getting your um summer days collection soon. So this one to me smells like pink haze with a bit of like amber and sandalwood maybe. It's very pretty, it's very sweet, but it's got a bit more, it's not as pink fluffy sweet as pink haze. It does have some other notes to ground it and I really like this one. Um, beautiful for the bedroom. It's a very like relaxing, soothing bar. So yeah, vitamin R Relax is a great name for it. Suits it well. So I did four cubes in the bedroom this time um, just to finish it up. And it did great. It lasted like a solid 48 hours, maybe a little bit longer even. I might've done it for three days. It was really good. Lasted great, very nicely smellable. Not overpowering at any point, which is nice for the bedroom, um, but still very smellable. So that was a good one for the bedroom. So highly recommend that if you see this in your travels. Um, that was a good one, vitamin R. Then in our bathroom, I did one cube of pink cotton. Now I had done this in my daughter's room last week and been very impressed with it. And in the bathroom, same thing. Like this was a great bathroom scent because it lasted about three days in our bathroom with just the one cube. And that's with the window being open once or twice and like the fan being on sometimes for showers and things. This one's so pretty. It's like a soft berries and sugar laundry scent, like with like cotton. And it's very pretty. So very girly, very like clean, very nice for a bathroom or bedroom. Highly recommend this one. It is general catalog. I think they do take away in the fall winter. So if you want some of this one, maybe grab some soon, but beautiful scent. Like that one a lot. Then in the guest bathroom, we did one cube of Make a Splash. And this one was very nice too, quite strong, like very strong performer. And it lasted about two, three days as well. Very nice. Maybe it was like two, two days. I think I took it out at two or three. Very nice. It's like a, it's a fresh scent, but there is some sweetness. I want to say maybe pineapple or something along that line. Um, just some kind of fruitiness here, but it is a fresh scent. So it's clean, it's fresh. It is a bit sharp. And to my nose, that's just a little bit soapy. Um, so it's not a favorite of mine, but I do really like it. And I think it's a perfect bathroom scent. So there is Make a Splash, really good performer. If you like a strong scent, I think this would do well in an open area. And then in the guest bathroom, I did one cube of Welcome Summer. I had grabbed this bar in the clearance sale a while back. And this one, this is like a, I wanna say daisy or sunflower. It's one of those types of scents. It kind of reminds me of the floral note in The Last Petal, which is the Beauty and the Beast bar we had last summer. It's kind of that type of floral. This one's less sweet than The Last Petal. It's more just floral. It is very pretty, but it's very floral. Um, in the bathroom though, so pretty, like so pretty and bright. Um, so the one cube lasted, it's still going. Still going now, you can still smell it in there. And it's been four or five days, at least four at least four days going into five. You can still smell it just fine. I'm gonna keep it in there another day or two. It's great. So I love this type of scent where you can just put it in and let it go for days. I love that kind of scent, especially for bathrooms. I don't wanna be like messing around with bathroom wax every single day, I just don't. So a scent for the bathroom that I can just sit in there and let it go for a few days and forget about it, perfect. And this is one of those. So really like that. Would I buy more? Probably not, only because it's not my general type of scent. I don't tend to go for florals, or at least not this type of floral, but it is very pretty and really good performer. I would say medium at peak. It's not a super strong scent, but it does last a long time. So get some decent performance marks from me. Then I did Blondes and Kokomo, and this is one of the Rose Girl scents that Melissa Johnson Hated sent me. And this one is Blonde Moment, Rainbow Sherbet, Saltwater Taffy, and Vanilla Ice Cream. This one's so good. It's so good. It is like a sparkly orange champagne rainbow sherbet, maybe. Yeah. Overall, it's like a citrusy sparkly scent. It's so pretty. And I did, the first time I did this in the bedroom, it was quite light. So I doubled the amount of wax. I used, I think, three or four of these little cubes in my warmer in there. And it did great. Like, that was the ticket. 
The key with this is to use enough wax. So two cubes was not enough. Four did the job beautifully. And I was really happy with it. So this ended up being one that my husband actually commented on. Like he doesn't normally comment on wax all that often, but he came in and was like, wow, it smells really good in here. And that was this one. So winner for both of us, love that one. Um, I would repurchase this scent for sure. It's one I really enjoy. Um, so that is Rose Girls. And it lasted a couple days, did really nicely. Um, yeah, no complaints there. I will say their wax is a little bit firmer than Scentsy's, so it's it still can be soaked up with cotton balls, but it doesn't quite soak up as as readily as Scentsy wax does. It's a little bit thicker. So if you're going to remove it from your warmers, you can still use cotton balls, um, but I think it's easier with this particular wax to take your dish out of the warmer, set it down for 15 minutes, and then just use one of the spatulas or something to scoop it out, and that's the best way to take this wax out. So really like that, would definitely repurchase. So thank you, Melissa. And then I also did in our bedroom, two cubes of Mojito Mambo. And this is one from the Whiff box. And it is like fresh mint. Like, you know, when you have a garden, like fresh mint, you have a garden, you're growing mint, you pick a leaf and like rub it between your fingers and it has that like minty green smell. This is that with like, it's just fresh. It's very fresh, very mint. Love this, would definitely repurchase, kind of like a winter green type smell, but summery because of that green freshness. Very authentic mint, maybe the most authentic mint I've smelled in wax. So really like that, would repurchase, very light. I would say medium at peak, and it only lasted maybe less than 24 hours. I think I left it in for 24 hours, but you couldn't smell it that whole time. So less than 24 hours and medium at peak tended towards light medium. Um, so that is Mojito Mambo. I would probably repurchase because I really enjoy the scent if I could, but we don't currently have it. It is currently available only in the Whiff Box for June. So if you want this one, it's in the June Whiff Box. The June Whiff Box this month is phenomenal. Um, I didn't get around to doing a video on it, but there are many other YouTubers who have done videos on it. So go check out one of those if you want to see what's in there. Um, it's a good whiff box this month and it does have this bar in it. So there's that. While I had Mojito Mambo going in our bedroom in the master bathroom, I had one cube of Coco Lime and they complemented each other amazingly. The trouble was Coco Lime is so much stronger than Mojito Mambo. So even though I only had one cube in a bathroom mini warmer, it was actually competing with Mojito Mambo at times. So Coco Lime is a general catalog set for summer and it's like lime coconut. And there's a lot of sweetness here. Like I get a simple syrup note. I don't know if that's in the notes, but I get the same simple syrup note that I get from Apple Teeny Splash. So it's a sweet like coconut lime scent, very nice. It's on the strong side, this bar has been sitting for about a year, so it is cured as well. Um, so yeah, that one is still going. Um, it needs to come out though. So again, 24 hours is about it for that one as well. Um, so strong, but not long lasting where Mojito Mambo is not strong and also not long lasting. So there we go there. And then finally, in the open layout today, I have got Strawberry Struzelkuchen, Struzelkuchen, one of the two, um, from Rose Girls. And again, this was a gift from Melissa Johnson Haight. And this one, I did two cubes or two little blocks in each of my four warmers. And it is smelling good in here. It is smelling very good. So in the bag, it's like mostly strawberry. It's like a bakery note and strawberry. And it's a very candied strawberry. In the warmers, it got a bit more complex. A bit more depth came out. There's a bit of a spice to it as well on warm that I don't get on cold. Not an overwhelming spice, but just like a tiny, tiny bit of spice to kind of round it out a bit. Really nice. I would probably repurchase the scent. Um, I'm impressed with the throw so far. It's doing really well. I would say it's on the strong side. Um, longevity, I can't speak to yet because I just put it in this morning so it's it should be going well still and it is um so yeah strawberry struzelkuchen very nice and that is everything i've warmed this week so it's been kind of an all over the place week this week with melting i did a kind of a little bit of everything i did holiday bricks i did some summer scents i did some clear out my stash to make room for my uh my club haul so that i think is arriving tomorrow or friday one of the two so when that arrives i will unbox that with you and show you what was in my club and go through that 
And then it's a big week next week because on June 30th at midnight, we get to find out what's in the fall winter catalog. So consultants are able to see the fall winter catalog at midnight on the 30th. So just at like right at July 1st and I'm super excited. So I'll be staying up late to check that out and um, let you guys know the next day what's staying, what's going and all that sort of thing. And we'll kind of go through that. And then next week's a big week. So I've got what I've been warming Wednesday. We're going to have my monthly empties, melting basket for July. Um, what's the new catalog going to look like? And then Wax Wars next week as well. There were a few bars missing from this What I've Been Warming Wednesday video. And those were a couple cotton candy bars. So the cotton candies did win. It was actually closer than it's been in quite a while. So cotton candies won by about 10 votes, but it was on the close side. So thank you for voting. Um, marshmallows were also in high demand. So it was on the close side, but cotton candies prevailed. So we will do cotton can or we were starting to do cotton candies already. So I've already melted a couple of them and the other two are up on deck soon here. So lots coming up in the next week or so. I know I've been quieter on here in the last week or two, but it's about to get busier as we get into new catalog season. So we will talk to you guys soon. What are you hoping to see in the fall winter catalog? Um, if you don't already know what's in there, um, what are you hoping to see? And what do you hope, what are your guesses? Do you have any things that you think are not coming back? Um, I strongly suspect that Red Berry and Spruce will not be back, which makes me kind of sad. I kind of wish I had grabbed a couple bars because if it doesn't come back, I really like that one. Like that was one of the tree scents I could actually tolerate. And so I'll be kind of sad if we don't see that one. And I kind of worry we're not going to see it, but we will see. But a week left until we find out. So hang tight guys, and we will talk to you guys soon. Have a good rest of your week. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.